guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Penny, my channel's being Penny B. And if you're new, it's so great to meet you. I'm glad you found me. I hope you stick around and hit the subscribe button down by there somewhere. Would be again, can't speak. I've got fibro, guys. I got my worst muddled up all the time. It would mean the world to me. And if you're an existing viewer, welcome back. So today's video. <laughs> the kitten down by there playing and she's distracted me and um excuse where i'm sat the light streaming stream <laughs> the light is streaming in <laughs> and it's making everything a little bit hazy but i thought i'd sit here because i do have i don't even know if you can see it i do have a little display going on there behind me and um for the purposes of this video, I thought I'd sit here instead of in front of my fireplace with my other autumn display because you've all seen that anyway. So I thought I'd change it up a bit. This is in my hall. You see the front door there. It's in my hallway and um, yeah, the light is streaming in. Anyway, enough about that. Why do I have to, have, you know, justify everything and explain everything? I always do it. <laughs> um, today's video is a collaboration with Jane um, from Just Janie and Tracy Jane. Uh, I will link their channels down below and I'll put them on the screen when I come to edit it. It's an autumn collab. So the three of us got together and decided that we would do a few questions. So I'm gonna read the questions out and answer them. And then it's a shop my wardrobe and I'm going to show you what I've picked. It's an autumn outfit and I'll do a little try on for you. I can't wait to see what the other girls have picked and what uh, the answers to their questions are going to be. I'm trying to ignore the kitten. <laughs> so, the first question is, what's your favourite autumnal drink? Well, my favourite is anything... Um, warming hot chocolate um caramel latte um i love those little caramel coffee sachets coffee sachets <laughs> coffee sachets that i show you on my hauls i love those anything caramelly anything i'm not that keen on pumpkin spice because it is a bit too spicy. I like it, but it isn't something that I would reach for. I just like anything caramel, salted caramel, chocolatey. If it's hot chocolate, of course, it's got to have the cream on top and it's got to have marshmallows and sprinkles and a cinnamon stick and all that good stuff. It's got to be a special one, a bit extra because I'm a bit extra. <laughs> um. Are we decorating for autumn? Well, yes, as you can see, and you've all seen my autumn decor in the lounge. I put all that up in September, then I take it down at the end of November. Um, actually, not really the end, mid-November. <clears throat> so we're the fifth today, so I'll be taking it down in the next couple of days and um, making ready for Christmas, guys. <laughs> But yeah, I do love decorating. I've decorated the kitchen as well. I love autumn decor, not the Halloween, you know, the boo and, and the devil horns and all that. Not that. I don't do all that. But I do the sunflowers, um, eucalyptus, pumpkins, that sort of thing, you know, little um, wildlife animals and pardon me, all that good stuff. Right, do we have any family traditions or places that we visit at this time of year? Not really, guys, if I'm honest. Um, come now, we're in November, we will be going to garden centres because all the Christmas stuff is out. And I get very excited about Christmas. Um, yeah, we will be going to garden centres. There's quite a lot dotted around. Um, we'll be travelling to those. Um, I like to go down to the beach in autumn, winter. I like to see the waves crashing. Um, I love the beach. It just grounds me, guys. I love the sea, love the sand. So yeah, we will be doing beaches. I prefer to go autumn, winter than in the summer when they're packed, to be honest with you. I mean, I hate 
hate packed beaches with screaming kids. The dogs are allowed on the beach now. So yeah, we'll be doing that. Um, other than that, no, not really. Just going around all the shops looking at the Christmas deco. <laughs> not that we need any more, guys, but it doesn't hurt to look, does it? Um, do I like a rainy day or a cold, crisp day? I'd rather it to be cold and crisp. Um, rain ruins the hair. <laughs> now, I do prefer cold and crisp over rain. We've had a lot of rain lately. Um, we're just coming out of Storm Kieran. Luckily, in touch wood, we weren't hit. We had a lot of winds and a lot of rain. But we're up high, so it didn't affect us really. Uh, my heart goes out to those who it did affect. And if you were one of those people, if you're watching and Storm Kieran affected you and you were flooded or any of your property was damaged, my sincerest heartfelt wishes are going to you. I'm sending you hugs and I'm sending you all the love in the world. And I hope it wasn't too, too bad that, you know, you've lost everything because... I've been seeing some horrendous footage. So, yeah, I prefer it cold and crisp. <laughs> they did say we're having snow, didn't they? After Storm Keewen goes, in comes the snow. Um, probably up north, they always get it. But down here in South Wales, we don't tend to. We do up the valleys and up the mountains, but I'm in a city, so no, we don't tend to get it. Um. Have I got a favourite autumn TV show? Well, I keep watching American Horror Story over and over and over again. It's not particularly autumn, guys, but um, I just love it. Um, quite a lot of it is moody and dark. Um, and it helps also that <laughs> my idol... Um, you all know, Stevie Nicks makes an appearance in several episodes, so that makes me happy. Uh, yeah, I just love, I love American Horror Story, and I will watch it till the cows come home. Um, I did try watching Gilmore Girls. It was okay. It was, it was all right. It was easy viewing, but not really my cup of tea, if I'm honest with you. Um, yeah, I like, I like American Horror Story. <laughs> I can't think of anything else that would fall into the autumn category, really. Um, and when are my Christmas tree and decorations going up? That's all of the, that's all of my questions by there. As I said, my autumn decorations will be coming down pretty soon. I'll be sad to see them go, but I will love to replace them with the Christmas day. So I used to always put them up the first weekend in December. Then I changed to the actual 1st of December. Um, then last year they went up um, the last week of November. But this year I think I'm going to put them up the middle of November. So another week. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It's a lot of hard work, um, particularly this year because we've got the kitten. And I'm dreading her running up the tree. I know it's going to happen, guys. She's into everything. So I'm hoping we don't have... <laughs> I'm hoping we don't have um, our version of National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation where the cat runs up the tree and gets electrocuted. <laughs> hoping and praying that don't happen. I know I'm laughing, but it's a funny film. If you haven't watched it, <laughs> please do. You'll laugh. It's really, really funny. Um... So, yeah, they will be going up very soon and it just is going to cheer everybody up. We haven't had the best of years, to be honest with you. Um, we still haven't had a resolution with Revolut. So Christmas is going on the credit card and we'll worry about that in the new year. Um, yeah, just looking forward to getting all the decorations up and being all cosy and and nice and the Christmas films are on telly now as well so I love to watch those well that could tie in with my favourite um or what I like to watch in autumn I mean I do like watching the Christmas films the corny ones on Hallmark and um the Christmas channel and all those I love them they're so corny they're easy watching and I just love them they feel good you know 
Anyway, guys, the next part of this video is a shop my wardrobe. So I'm going to show you what I've shopped from my wardrobe and then I'll do a try on two seconds. So I had a lot of choice and um, I've got a lot of things that I wanted. I could have done a complete autumn try on, but the collab was just an outfit. <laughs> so I've gone for cozy. And I've picked a pair of brown jeans. These are new look. Yeah, new look. 365 range. They are just a pair of brown jeans. Um, they've got a bit of stretch in them, a little bit. And they are kind of a, a wide leg sort of flare. They're called a relax straight but they're more of a, a widey leg. Um, it's a totally different look for me because I love my skinnies, um, but I thought I'd try them. So yeah, I haven't worn them yet, guys. So it'd be nice to try them on again. I tried them on when I bought them, but I haven't worn them. Then I've got this little cream. This is a Florence and Fred, a little cream rib, like a granddad top. It's just long sleeved and ribbed with buttons. Don't know if you can see the rib. There we go. That's from Florence and Fred at Tesco. All of these are a size 18, guys. Um, God knows how they still fit me, but this is an ASOS. This is a size 16. 16? Yeah, this one's a size 16. It's ASOS design and it's super duper oversized. But I love it. It's a lovely jacket. It's gorgeous. It's really heavy. But look at the colours. Absolutely stunning. So, yeah, I will be trying that on with these. So there's the outfit. Then I'm going to be wearing them with my Ugg Dupe Taz boots. They were from Timu. And I have looked up against a pair of genuine Uggs and you can't see the difference guys apart from the fact it says Ugg here and they're real sheepskin these aren't they're man-made but you wouldn't know the difference especially when they're on so I will be doing all of those and I've got a brown Marks and Span Spencers <laughs> a brown Marks and Spencers bag so bear with guys I'll be two seconds and then you'll see me with all these on so here it is guys this jacket is super duper warm. It's really cozy, it's thick. I don't know if it's still on ASOS. It might be, if you like it, take a look. I'm not paid, I'm not collaborating with them. I've just bought it and if you like it, that's where I got it from. <laughs> um, and then they've got the cream top then underneath. It's a skinny rib, nice and fitted. Um, that's underneath. I've got my Brown Mags and Spencer's leather handbag. And then, I'm gonna, what, how can I do this? I'm gonna angle you down, guys. So here's the brown jeans. They're a baggier fit than normal. And there's my Ugg dupes. If I do it that way. <laughs> That's my Ugg dupes. I'm gonna take the bag off because if it was super duper cold, I could also put on my Primark um, gilet. It's a bit much actually with the jacket, but I mean, if it was really cold, but not raining, I could wear this gilet. I love this, I wear it a lot. It's got a hood, which I will put up for you. My, um, my tripod isn't one of those angle ones. I've got to keep stopping and winding it up and winding it back down again. <laughs> so yeah, there it is with the gilet. Super nice, it really is nice. I didn't intend putting this on as part of my autumn clothing um, try on, but it does go, it goes really well. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed. 
if you did, please pop along to Tracy Jane and uh, just Janie and see what they did, the answers to their questions and what they shopped from their wardrobes for their autumn outfit. Um, and please, guys, if you haven't subscribed to their channels, please give them a like and hit their subscribe button. It'll be down by there like mine. And if you haven't subscribed to me, please do the same. Just give me a like and hit the subscribe button. We would all really appreciate it. We're all trying to grow our channels. So thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.